starting off the day in Hendersonville, North Carolina, home of the rusted out tree. It's made of metal. That's so metal. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's the Daily Woo. I seem to have found probably one of the most spectacular array of roadside novelties and characters in one spot. This bomb reminds me of something out of a Bugs Bunny cartoon or maybe the Roadrunner and the circus ringleader. He's showing off his gargantuan pig. You're so friendly. It's nice to meet you too. You see Yogi back there just chilling? You see a lot of antique Coca-Cola machines, but rarely one that's Pepsi. This is, don't touch that partner. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sir. I didn't realize that was off limits. On the roof are some cows, a donkey, and a classic big boy. This one's holding a piece of fruit, an apple, I believe. This hamburger is literally three times the size of his head. For those about to vlog, we salute you. Oh, wow, even some old school Mickey D's. Mayor McCheese here at your, you know what? That actually might be a different character. I get him confused sometimes. Quite the plethora of goodness out here. And the name of this place is Hooterville, USA, as signified by this neon sign pig with a bow tie. Getting a little fuel. Current gas price, $2.29 in this neck of the woods. Oh, that's a little warm. I just noticed that kerosene pump looks like a robot. Kerosene keeps me warm feels so good to watch it burn just like this coffee burning my tongue it's so good check this out there is a ferris wheel promoting this sheet metal business that's weird it makes me wonder was this originally a fairground of some sort and they just left it and built the business on top of it or was it transplanted here a lot of apple trees in this area orchards aplenty and I'm currently heading into Edneyville. I think at this current time, they aren't in season, but if they were, imagine just plucking a fresh piece of fruit from the limb. I love apples. Apple juice is very delicious. Wasn't expecting to see this guy out here. It's like a muffler man miner hanging out. He's got a guard dog as well. A guard dog protecting him. Usually you'll see these at gas stations. Old school Americana. This one's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. That dog's got a serious staring problem. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Let's just take a moment to realize how incredibly beautiful this is. Smell that mountain air. Not really getting the best cell phone signal out here. I gotta find my way back. You guys know how to get back to the interstate? Take a left where old man Clemens' barn used to be, past the dried up creek bread bed that is no longer visible. Go another mile and a half and then ask someone else. Thank you. No help at all. I found the interstate. I'm taking I-26 westbound, and I saw a speed limit sign. You can only go 60 miles an hour legally on this thoroughfare, which is a little slower than most states. You get into Texas, the speed limit sometimes is 75 or 80, but here in North Carolina, they don't want you going over 60. As always, checking out the local rest stops. This one's a small one. And I am currently located right there. If you look very closely, you can see me. You gotta squint your eyes, but I'm in there. Unlike South Carolina's beverage machines, these are freed. However, don't even think about taking a leaf blower in there. You will be reprimanded.
Well, the road is beckoning. I must heed its call. I must heed it. Wait. Nah. I've switched roads now, and I'm now on Interstate 40 West, heading directly towards the mountains. Where do you think all these numbers on the side of the road are? I can't figure it out. Driving through the middle of the rock, to use dynamite to blast that out, create a pathway. Man, this is beautiful through here. Look at that view. Speed limit, 55 miles per hour. I'm going about that. I'm going about 56. You can see everyone is passing me at a very quick rate of speed, even though I am technically going what the law allows. Everyone else is just speed. Like the Duke boys, they're breaking the laws a little bit more than the law will allow. This is definitely a very windy and steep road to say the least. Two lanes on my side. The far left lane, there's lots of signage telling 18 wheelers to stay out of the far left lane. But I'm in the right lane because I'm cruising along at 55, but the trucks want to go faster than that. They're technically not allowed to get in the left lane, so they're right on my bumper. One truck, you can see it in the time lapse, passed me, thankfully, because he was like right on my tail, maximum overdrive style. Instead of going over that, we're gonna go directly through it, through the tunnel. Hold your breath. Whew. I did it. I really can't get over how incredible this is. Natural beauty. That's for sure. There's another one of them darn trucks. This is one of those rare instances when I wish Emilio Estevez was my co-pilot. He could help out. And take a look at this. I'm in Tennessee. The soundtrack of America. I like this rest stop. It's very cozy. And I am currently located right here where this red star is. And if you look, peek very, very carefully, you can see me right there standing in the middle of that red star. I'm right there. Just gotta, you gotta look real close. I picked myself up a guide map. And I'm very confused on what this is. So much to choose from. Any suggestions? Any suggestions on the map here? That looks good. So does this. Or, you know, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Vlog over.
Heck am I?